1993, after a few college students attended a three-day seminar at the Tsiti Penang Liaison Office in Malaysia, the first teaching seminar in the nation was held the very next year. Today, 20 years on, some 100 teachings have become certified city volunteers and citizens and are committed to spread city's ideal far and wide. This is Li Zongfu, who is the administration director at the Tsiji Malaysia chapter. In year 2000, Li became a certified Tsiji volunteer, and his dharma name Ji Lang is there to always remind him not to forget where he started. 20 years ago, Li Zongfu and eight friends from University Technology Malaysia arrived at Tsiji's Penang Liaison Office to attend a three-day seminar. It was the same camp that inspired him to care for the sick and poor. After I visited care recipients with Tsiji volunteers, I vowed to become a part of Tsiji when I graduated from university. After I graduated, I went back to Penang and the next thing I knew I was working in Tsiji. The following year, Li Zongfu started working at Penang Liaison Office and had become the first Tsiching in Malaysia. Although Li had to build everything from scratch, he still managed to hold the first Tsiching camp in the country. Twenty years later, some 100 Tsichings have become full-fledged Tsiji volunteers. Ah, 行菩萨道，这都是慈情的使命啊。this is Ang Lei Huan, who used to be a Tsiching and decided to work in Tsiji Foundation after graduation. However, her mother did not support her decision. Back then, I didn't know what to do. I knew that I made the right decision to work in Tsiji, but I felt I wasn't filial towards my mother because she was upset. I had to choose between the two, so I decided to talk to her about the Tsiji Foundation so she could understand my job better. Now 20 years on, this group of Tsichings has become certified Tsiji volunteers. In the years to come, they vow to continue shoulder Tsiji's responsibility and inspire more people to walk the Tsiji path.